everyone, Jeff here again for VIP Vision. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to recover and reset a lost password on a VIP Vision Network video recorder. Now, this procedure works on all modern VIP Vision Network video recorders, as well as most SecureView and WatchGuard video recorders. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a reset using the mobile phone app. I'm going to be showing you on a Galaxy S9, which is an Android based device. However, it would also work perfectly well on an iPhone using the IDMSS app. However, this video I'm going to be showing you using the GDMSS app. So, firstly, I'm just going to jump across to the recorder that I've been having issues with. So, this is the recorder that I've got here. Now, I'm going to right click and select main menu. It's going to prompt me to log in. Unfortunately, I've forgotten the pattern password, so I'll say, forgot unlock pattern. Unfortunately, I've also forgotten the admin password. So, the next thing I'm going to click here is this little forgot password, little lock icon. If you do not have this lock icon here, this recovery procedure is incompatible with your recorder and you'll have to recover it via another method. Please contact your installer or VIP Vision directly. So, I'm going to click on this button here and what it's going to prompt me now is it's going to give me a, a QR code here with quite a bit of information encoded in it. I've got a reset type up the top saying email. Um, if I've set the security questions, I can actually answer them here. Um, in this video though, I'm not going to show you answering the security questions. That's relatively straightforward. Just put the, quest the answers to the questions in here. I'm going to show you resetting using email and the app. So when you first configured this recorder, you would have been prompted to enter an email address. Now, this is the recovery email address that is going to be used to recover the admin password. It's worth noting that all we're doing here is we're recovering the admin password. We'll only recover the admin password via this method. If you need to recover another password or reset another password, you first need to recover the admin password, then log in as admin and then delete the user that you need to reset and re-add that user. So this method is for recovering the admin password. Now, if for some reason during the initial installation, you did not select, uh, you did not add an email address, you will be prompted to enter an email address before this stage. It's worth noting though, however, if you don't do that, you, that really needs to be a part of your typical install procedure because if you don't do that, anyone who goes to the recover password section can enter any email address they like and then recover based off that email address, reset the password on the recorder, uh, not a good thing. So while there is the option to uncheck entering an email address when you're, you're initially setting up the recorder, I'd strongly suggest you don't do that. If you have already unchecked that and already reset up the recorder, um, there is a method to add it, add your email address to the admin username using the account section of the recorder under the settings. Um, I'll show that a bit later in the video. So I'll just jump back. So here, as, as I mentioned before, we've got our QR code here. Now, this QR code is what we're going to scan using the app. We could scan this using a general QR code reader and then we can email this to the support underscore gpwd at htmicrochip.com and then it would reply with the, the code that we need, the security code that we need to reset. But it's kind of a little bit long-winded and a bit difficult because you actually have to capture that code, email it and then wait for the response. Using the app is a lot faster. So I'm just going to jump across now to the app on the Android device. So, as I mentioned before, we're going to be using GDMSS. So I'm going to tap on GDMSS. It's going to open. Now I've got camera, door, and alarm. If for some reason it's opened straight away into the camera section, to get back to the main menu, we just simply tap the hamburger icon, on the three lines, and then we tap home. Okay? So, we've got home here. We select more. Now, you'll see you've got protection and then you've got re reset device password. This is what we're actually looking for. So I'm going to tap reset device password. I'm going to be prompted. It's going to say, please scan device web password QR code to reset. After you successfully scan, system will send verification code to your mobile phone or email registered on device. So essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to scan the QR code and then I'm going to get an email back to the email address that I have put inside the recorder. So I'm going to tap OK on there. And now I'm going to jump across and I'm going to scan that QR code. And there we go. We've got please wait. Successfully reset password. Excellent. 
So now what we need to do, we just have to wait. Okay, we wait for the email to come through. Now, if you jump back across to, oops, sorry, back here to the capture again. I actually just received an email and you'll see here, I've got a password reset email. I can tap on that. And, oops, I've actually got two emails here because I was testing earlier, but the one you want is this one just here. Okay, so the security code for your device is with the serial number ZX870B, which is what our serial number ended in, is 2D033F16. So our next step is to enter that code into our recorder. So we jump back to the recorder here, and we enter the code that I mentioned before, which is 2D033, 2D033, F16. and select next. And as long as this code's correct, it's gonna prompt me to enter my new password, which is exactly what we were looking to do before. So I'm gonna enter my new password. Um, I'm gonna make it something very secure, not really for this, which is just admin123 on this test machine. Obviously, if this was a real world machine, you would select a real world username and password with a good level of difficulty. So, password, Confirm password and click OK. Successfully operated. OK, so do you want to sync the password with the remote device connecting via the de default protocol? Now this is very important that you select yes here because if you do not select yes, what will happen is you'll find that the recorder will still be using the old username and password for the cameras. It won't have updated the username and password on the cameras, but it will update the username and password in the camera listing of the recorder. So you must click yes at this stage. If you do not click let yes, there is a very good chance that your password on the cameras will not be updated and you'll find that you have invalid username and password errors on the cameras and will be a bit difficult to recover from because you'll actually have to factory default for the cameras to get them back. So I'll switch back again. Okay, so as I mentioned, select yes, always select yes. There we go. So if you've got lots of cameras on here, you'll find that this will spit out D1 through D8 or D16, however many cameras you've got on your recorder. Hopefully it'll say password succeed. If it doesn't, then there might've been something else that's gone wrong, but I haven't actually seen it ever fail before. So now it's, it's basically telling us that it's updated the username and password, or at least the password, the admin password on that camera. So I'll select finished. And now I'm done. So now I know that my admin username, because I set it, is admin one, two, three. Okay, excellent. So we've reset our admin password. Now, as I mentioned before, if I now have other passwords that I need to reset, okay, I will click on system here under setting and select account, select user. And here I would have other users. Now I would need to delete the existing users that were in here and re-add them using the add user field here. And we're done. So I hope that that's been useful. Um, I hope that you've, you know, at least it's given you a basic indication of how to reset passwords on these machines. As I mentioned, that works on VIP Vision recorders or modern VIP Vision recorders, as well as most um, Secure View and WatchGuard series recorders. If you do have issues with that setup or that that procedure, if you're missing the lock icon, like I said, you'll actually have to go and recover it via a different method. Um, contact your installer or contact VIP Vision for that. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, questions, queries, anything regarding this video or any other videos, things that you'd like to see done, please leave them below. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.